Hey, uh, this is Louis Vega and also known as Master Rui. Today we're gonna talk making panels for your comics and manga. So I have my A4 size paper here and I'm gonna create that. Whatever the size you're using, doesn't matter. We're gonna go into this. So I'm gonna create a layer here. And uh, yeah. There are two ways you can approach making panels that I recommend. One, you can draw them. And two, you can use the marquee tools, stroke um, selection tools stroke shapes so let's talk about method number one draw them so there are many ways of uh, creating panels if you're going to deep draw them this is like the easiest way uh, you can make a panel you can just draw your rectangular panel I'm actually holding down shift as I'm drawing so I have this panel I can have my characters drawn in pom 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 put put pa pa ta pa para para pa po po put 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 pom but as you can tell is is the issue right uh if i'm going to draw my panels my characters can move out of the panel and i'd have to erase that every single time that can sometimes be a problem but i'll talk about it with the next method and how we can resolve it so when you're drawing you can create all kinds of panels of all kinds of sizes all kinds of shapes however you like you know you have a lot of freedom you can have your panels stylized too because you're drawing them you know it's easy to stylize your panel you can have a bunch of bones in there Skull, another bone, skull, another long bone, skull, another long bone, and you have your character in here smiling. Yay! I got a big chin and a misplaced ear. Yeah. No, I ain't Bilbo. <laughs> then uh we can have another panel which uh you know could be flowers you know just three really flowers so drawing panels in gives you a lot more freedom uh than any other method that i'll actually talk about so if you want more freedom you'd rather draw them uh if you want to be more specific and much more clean and much more simple method 2 is going to be interesting uh, but it also has some other ways where it can uh, become uh, less basic so this is method 1 you can draw them now method 2 which is using the uh, marquee tools the selection tools what we can do is create a new layer here. Go to our marquee tools, rectangular tools, elliptical tool. But we're going to use our rectangular marquee tool. We're going to create a selection. We're going to grab any color, like let's say green there. We're going to fill it in. And we're going to deselect. We're going to move down to our FX and create a stroke probably seven if you want you can change it however you like your panels you want them thicker you increase like them thinner you decrease so we're gonna go with seven for now because I think it's it's quite the standard number now what we have is just this block of a rectangle uh, some people actually end up using this uh, they create a, a new layer and a clipping mask there and they use it but what you realize is that your you can draw 
and your things won't go through the fields. But the problem is um, you'd have to create clipping masks over and over and over again because every new layer has to be a clipping mask basic bombs cat logos um artist the problem is you have to keep on creating these clipping masks over and over and over again and this gets kind of dirty because you have to the clipping mask go upwards and that misplaces some of the layers you have at the top it makes it look uh, very hard to handle and maintain the more you have uh, the more you have many layers you know so you wanna we're gonna delete that and delete that we're gonna improve this take it a little bit further so what we're gonna do is get our selection tool magic one selection tool we're gonna select the inside uh, of this rectangle we're gonna press ctrl j which is gonna duplicate this layer at the top and uh, we're gonna turn off the previous layer we're gonna come to this layer and rasterize the layer style Ooh, as a matter of fact I forgot to rasterize it so we're gonna just delete this too it doesn't matter so we have this uh, we're gonna select this with the magic wand uh, press ctrl J and uh, come back to the previous layer uh, select this selection we're gonna delete that and uh, deselect so what we have is this we have our fill we have our lines now these two have been separated so this is our border and this is our fill still uh, at this point you have to use clipping masks to actually be able to get this effect where your lines are not moving out of the border and uh, we want to have this happen but we don't want to create so many clipping masks all the time so we're gonna delete that and we're gonna create a new layer uh, and we're gonna keep it there because this is where we're gonna put our artwork down here where we have the fill tool we're gonna create what we call group so we go down get a new group we're gonna come to our fill layer we're gonna get our magic wand again and this time round we're gonna select the group move down to this place this area where there's that you know a square with a circle inside and we're gonna select it and voila we don't need our fill tool then air fill there anymore we can delete it and now we have this layer called the group one we can carry our layer we created for the artwork into this group and now we can start to draw with freedom mums books cats rats fun boom 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 boom, boom. see then go out of the the selection and now we can create any number of layers we want and everything we draw will never go out of selection we don't need to create any more clipping masks anymore and uh, this is the fun of it uh, of, of this method it saves you the trouble of having to keep on uh, changing things creating clipping masks now does this only involve having a bunch of rectangles all the time uh, does it only involve having only the shape and the answer is no uh, 
This is because we can delete that, we can delete our lines, we can come back here, uh, create our shapes. And what I've selected is the lasso tool, and I'm now changing the shape. And we can create a, sorry, a new layer, green, whatever color you like. I'm going to deselect that. I'm going to create a stroke. About seven. And uh, we're going to rasterize that layer. We're going to select the inside. We're going to Ctrl J. Delete the inside. Morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, there it is. Create, select the inside again. Create a new group. And voila. So basically what we're doing here is just repeating the same process that we did before and that is it, that is it pretty much. Uh, so we can get our panels in a different regular shape however we like uh, but still be able to get the same effect of having your characters move out, not move out of your panel. So uh, this has been today's tutorial, panels. Uh, until next time, dream of space.